best decision was to uh, figure out how to get my girlfriend to fall in love with me after she dumped me. I met her at Rice. I went away to graduate school. I was bugging her about that. You know, I missed her. I left my car with her. I thought all this might work. But the product of distance and time meant the relationship fell, fell apart. So she came to Silicon Valley, wanted nothing to do with me. I got an apartment, a garage apartment at Stanford for $55 a month was turned down by every venture capital firm I tried to apprentice myself to. And so then I started calling up tech companies. One of those venture capitalists was really kind, spent some time with me and said, John, you ought to interview at this little chip company that we funded, his name is Intel. And so I cold called my way into there and got a job writing benchmarks that summer. And then an amazing thing happened. When they showed me where my office was, guess whose office was down at the end of the hall? Yeah, my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> She hit the ceiling, you know? The idea that I was gonna be there was not her idea of a good summer. You can tell I'm pretty persistent. <laughs> we uh, put the relationship back together again and we decided to get married. And as this book will say, I think earlier in your life, the agenda is more career. But if you put off making those crucial decisions about, you know, a soulmate you wanna spend the rest of your life with until you're 30, a lot of people wake up and they've just been doing casual dating and suddenly they're gonna feel like they're running out of time to make those choices.